heat cable, heat tape, heat trace, it's all the same thing. So don't get caught up in the terminology. The big difference comes into when you talk about the type of cable. So I have a self-regulated cable here and constant wattage cable here. Now I wanna make sure that you understand the difference between these two so you don't install the wrong product for your situation and end up paying the price down the road. Now I wanna start by constant wattage. This product you can typically find in your local hardware store. Now, it's pretty simple, plug and play unit. You typically don't need any electrical in your home or like added electrical to make this work. Unless you don't have an outlet, you may need to install that. Now, another thing is it's quite a bit cheaper than the self-regulating, so it's more affordable, easier to come by. So if you're on a budget, that might be a good option. Now, some limitations on this you need to be aware of is the heat output itself. Because it's constant wattage, it does not increase the heat when temperatures get really cold. So we've found the threshold point around the 20 degree point. If it gets below that, this may not keep up with the cold and the ice will actually consume the cable. One of the other downsides to this is the lifespan. If you're not gonna be in your home for very long, maybe it's okay. But you can see this working for maybe six, seven years and it'll start to die. Now, the warranty also is short. It's only two years according to the product manufacturer. Most installers may not even warranty it for more than a year. So you may not get a long life out of this product. Now, on the other hand, you come over on self-regulating cable. And this product here, it does different things than this one. Self-regulating changes the heat output based on outdoor temperature. Let me clear something up. Self-regulating does not turn itself on, does not turn itself off. People are told that and they get this idea that it operates itself. It doesn't do that. It only adjusts the heat output based on temperature. So make sure you keep that in mind. When this one begins to fail below 20 degrees, this one will outperform and keep up with the cold. So keep that in mind when you're considering your climate and your area. Now, some other advantages of this is the customization. You can see that this comes off of a big roll. This is a thousand foot with some leftover on it. And this is a piece. We can tie these together, customize them and tee lines off and fit it to your house. So it looks good. It operates and functions the way it needs to. But you may need a skilled technician for that. The lifespan for this is, is great too. So you've got a 10 year warranty on it alone, which is far beyond what this is gonna have. And your lifespan is gonna be 15, 20 plus years. Make sure the installation is done by a professional. That is often what makes the system go bad. Now, when it comes to the downsides of this, it is more money, but don't forget, you get what you pay for. You pay a little more money, you're gonna get a much better product. The other side, Remember when I said skilled technician to install this? If you don't terminate these ends right and put the system together, water can leak into the system, go down the lines through the system and compromise the entire wire. At that point, the whole thing needs to be thrown away. So make sure that you have a skilled technician installing this for you. Um, otherwise you could be end up paying a big price down the road. One of the other downsides is most homes are not typically set up electrical wise to accommodate self-regulating cable. It needs more electrical availability to power up and fire up correctly and to operate properly. So you may have to add another circuit, maybe convert something or do some electrical modifications on your home so that you can put in this product. So keep that in mind when, you know, uh, deciding between these two products here. Now, the big difference like I said, with climate between these two products is in that 20 degree point. If you get below 20 degrees, this is not going to keep up. This one will perform much better, especially in your, in your higher elevations. So if you get snow loads, two, three, four feet or more, self-regulating is what you want to go with. Um, some other things to pay attention to is where to install this. Metal roofs are the key. This cannot be put on a metal roof. Constant wattage, can have some issues, short out, it'll fail on a metal roof. It's not designed for a metal roof. Self-regulating is designed for a metal roof, along with all the other roofs out there. So keep that in mind. Now, at any given time, if you're not comfortable installing this product, feel free to reach out to us at wasatchheatcable.com. And if you like this video, 
please subscribe to our channel.